Ladies and gentlemen, as we move into bout number seven, it is sponsored and brought to you by MediaWorks and The Rock. And there's a story behind these two fighters. They had to compete with 100 people to get here tonight. Coming out of the blue corner, representing The Rock, Hayden Richards. And introducing to you to go to the red corner, also representing The Rock, Reese Narby. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the one of the main fights of tonight, bout seven, and this is the Rock Contenders. These guys have fought a whole lot of people. There's been over 100 people that have entered this. It was a, uh, a radio program from the Rock 93.ZM and 93.7 FM, should I say, and it's for the Rock Contenders. This has been very keenly contested to be able to be eligible to be in this bout. They're underway in the first round of this Rock Contenders contest between Reese Narby and Hayden Richards. Interesting to note that um, th this is started on at a very effervescent note, but I, I don't understand why one bout, one box has got the headgear and the other hasn't. I think everyone should have a gear. Headgear, the rule in amateur boxing is you must have headgear. These yes. guys are very much amateur. They're going to land up on top of us the way they're going. Um, yeah. Just a point. Um, Absolutely. Totally agree with you. And Narby, he's originally born and raised on the Banks Peninsula farm, a well-known Akaroa family, the Narbys. I remember Philip Narby, I think it was. And, um, yeah. and Hannibal uh, Richards, he's uh, the founder of Body Specific Limited. He has a, a Get Me Fit company. Also interesting to note that Narby uh, headed overseas and he's played rugby in Japan. So, um, yeah, probably an all-round sportsman, I would think. Very much so. I think he actually played for Canterbury as well, if my memory serves me correct. Narby, I'm yeah, absolutely I, sure. Actually, I think you're right. In fact, I actually think he lives with Richie McCaw, young Narby. I do. Oh, I'm not sure uh, about A little that. bird told me that. Um, so, you know, he's got, he's got a good flat, mate. <laughs> well, he's also firing out some nice shots at He the is moment. firing out some nice yeah. shots. Trained, of course, ably by uh, young Brian Barry. He's having a good night tonight. Young Brian with his charges. Yeah, Narby, actually, you're right, did play in Japan. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, meanwhile, back to, back to this boxing. This is a, an interesting first round here. Narby's got his hands up nice and high, but um, the uh, red... You mean Richard? Uh, so Richard's got his hands up high, but yeah, I'm getting it wrong tonight, and Narby's okay, coming mate. in. We coming allowances in. for your senility. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big word. Meanwhile, the uh, spell it too. first round's over. Round one is over, and no doubt about it. Don't folks, bother spelling it. Narby it? Would, have the, um, he would have the upper hand. Say so McDonald to centre ring. Calls both boys to the ring, to the uh, centre. And away we go. Whoa! -ho! Yeah, wipe the gloves, he says. Wipe yeah. the gloves. It was a slip. Indeed. You note the blue boy is the, is the unorthodox being a southpaw. Yes, he is. Uh, Left-handers. You know, and something like this where these guys are inexperienced, it must be hard for an orthodox guy fighting Yeah, but they train, yeah, true. They train hard in the few weeks that they're given. Yep. 
and they've got their own inner strengths, and you get a, you might get a good sort of a former young scrapper around the streets, but he can look after himself. So they, they give it their best shot. Yep. The, oops, the referee nearly copped one then. <laughs> oh. And that wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't worry, Zay. No. Well, a, bit of lead, a bit of leading with the elbow there. There was. On the shoulder. Yeah. Young Narby, he's, he's, he's learnt the tricks pretty well. Yeah, there's a bit of leaning and holding. And <laughs> the referee's doing the right thing, bringing them back into the centre ring. Lots of photographers and cameras around here tonight, I can't believe it. They're everywhere. Someone's going to tire here soon. He's nearly through the ropes, look at that. Whoops, well, so this, that was a big left hook. This Hannibal Richards, he's, uh, he's representing a fitness company. He's, um, he's a director of, uh, what's this company called? Get Me Body Fit, so he well. should be pretty fit himself. He should be. As we move to round three. Touch gloves, box. Narby's come out like he wants to finish this. He does, he comes out flying. Hey, but to the credit of young Richards, the Hannibal, Stick it in pretty well. He's getting a couple of good shots away here. Apparently, there's been there's been a lot of hype and a lot of interest in this particular fight because because um, of the rock factor. But yeah, well, <coughs> you know, they they had to go through so much to get to the stage. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Mm. Oh, that was a good right. Yeah, right yeah. to the chin. Now nah, we got him on the chin. He did. But like I said earlier, and it does surprise me, you know. Richards hasn't got the headgear, so does he get a choice about that? Because the headgear does protect. Oh, absolutely. And this is amateur boxing, so that's the only comment I've made. I've made it twice now. Should be wearing it. Should be wearing it, in my clear view. Yeah, having said that, um, everything tonight, I believe, has been very well run. And oh, Justin does yeah. an amazing job. Yeah. And uh, it's getting better each year. You know, the charities are enhanced and... Yeah. The sponsors coming out of the woodwork, a lot of them, and some of them are regulars. It's amazing. And we've got amateur boxers that haven't been in the ring before and what have you, but we've, all the officials are very experienced. I mean, the Kevin Hines and the Zane McDonald's, they know exactly what they're doing. The judges know what they're doing. Oh, you look around the ring, Pimley's been involved for 50 yeah. years. Paul Fitzsimmons, yeah. former Australasian. Oh, look at this. This is, this yeah, is you're fantastic. Right. Oh, to turn one. on a body shot and a head yeah. shot. Yeah. Hey, and an uppercut. Oh, oh. And an uppercut. Oh. Hey. He's put the count on him. <laughs> Hannibal Richards is coming he, back. Hannibal Lecter, he's coming back well. Big time. But is it too late? That is the burning question. I think it may be. Yeah, I tend to agree. Yeah, I think Narby's very tired. Yeah. It's all over. All over. The bell has sounded. start to finish. And this bout sponsored by Media Works and The Rock. And as we go to the judges' cards, it is a unanimous decision and it goes in favour of Peyton Richards in the blue corner. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the decision finally went to the blue corner. It was a unanimous decision in favour of ha Hayden Hannibal Richards. Big, uh, big cheers to both of them, Hayden Richards and Reese Anabi. What a contest, the rock contender. Great bout, great bout. Great bout. Well, we're uh, joined by the winner here, Hayden. Uh, tough fight. Tough, Reese is a tough man. I know you'd sparred with him uh, a couple of times. But how was that tonight? Uh, that was that was hard, Yekka. Yeah, um, he's, he's one tough bastard. Um, tell you what, it's like this is a completely different game to, to sparring. And. Uh, Man, he really brought it tonight. 
And uh, obviously important, the uh, charity and fighting for the charity. Yeah, the, uh, the Canterbury Earthquake Children's Trust is sort of who I'm supporting, and it's just nice to be a part of uh, doing something on this scale we can actually give um, and help out other people. Reese, uh, I talked to Hayden before, you'd, you'd had the opportunity to fight. How was that uh, again tonight? Uh, it was good, mate. Uh, pretty physical battle. Hayden is uh, certainly one fit bloke. <laughs> how, how much training are you doing a, a week, you know, preparing for something like this? Uh, Gary and um, Brian and my sparring partner Matt, they've had me in the ring about three times a week and then you do your own stuff outside of that, you know. Time to meet now the uh, best dressed of the night. His name's uh, Flatman. Tell us about the outfit and uh, what Flatman does. Well, basically for a, about a year and a half now, I've been um, delivering food packages to uh, sort of needy students and families all around Christchurch, just um, out of my own pocket, funding it myself, and with Stadium Cars' help, um, I just get out there, visit primary schools, be Christchurch superhero, really. Thank you. Just help out everyone and everyone, you know. And you're here tonight helping out and enjoying the fights? Oh, oh absolutely loving it, mate. It's awesome stuff. I, I would have loved to be in there, but I would have had to take my mask off, and that's something I can't do. So how can people get hold of Flatman? There's, there's www.flatman.co.nz or on Facebook, and anyone can nominate someone for a deserving package or anything. But, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, and it's just, yeah, it's good to be here. Fantastic and great to be here, and you're our winner tonight. Flatman, best dressed. All right, time now to meet the best dressed group. Who do we have here? What's your names? Uh, we're the Geeks from Duns, for all your financial needs, 28B Morehouse Ave. So the inspiration for, uh, for the outfits? It's just natural for us to be geeks as accountants. Oh, so you're all accountants, are you? Yes, we're all accountants. So have you enjoyed the fights tonight? Yeah, yeah, Cody McDonald ruled. He was amazing. Yes, ma'am. Overall, congratulations to all of the charities that um, received money tonight. And we are fantastic for Canterians that really pulled out. And we're happy for Christchurch to go ahead. So. All right, congratulations to our best dressed team.